Constantino. Dole. Pound for pound. Constantino Garcia here for Little Giant Boxing. I'm gonna be vlogging for you guys. It's gonna be my first vlog. It's fight night. Cesar Ray Martinez versus Joel Cordova tonight on the zone. By the time you guys get this, it's probably gonna be like uh, the fight's gonna be over, but I'm expecting a short and sweet explosive fight between two Mexican warriors that obviously give it to, give it their all. I saw a little bit of a uh, Joel Cordova's fights, and you know he has a similar style as far as Ray Martinez throws punches and bunches, moves forward, and I ex expect a short and sweet war, and I think Ray Martinez is gonna pull it off. Y aquí estoy en Guadalajara, Jalisco, México. Un honor aquí estar, este donde empezó su carrera. Saúl Canelo Álvarez, miren nada más, qué lindo, qué hermoso. La comida me ha encantado. He estado comiendo demasiado y este y las mujeres muy hermosas, sinceramente. Like, wow, very beautiful. A lot of beautiful women out here. And yeah, it's look, it's a really nice little view I got right here. Let me show you guys a little bit of my, of my room. As you can see, you know, I ain't got much right here. It's just my duffel bag. I bought some, a few stuff. I bought a Lucha Libre shirt. You know, just my luggage. I got that Ryan Garcia Shock the World sweater. It's fresh. I like it. It's cozy. It's warm. And I like the color. Este, gracias a Mini Money para, por regalarme esta, esta chingona gorra. Lo agradezco mucho, Mini. Este, you guys will be hearing about him. I'm going to post an interview I did with him. Uh, the Canelo had. I, I had to get my, my, my clothes washed because I was running low. So that's why that's there. It's my socks. Hey, don't clown these pink ones, man. I, I, I didn't do laundry before I left, so that's why I had to take those. And look, you always gotta pack um, un poquito. Tien, siempre tienes que llevarte un poquito de salsa por si no hay. Pero esto es cuando fui a, fui a Puerto Rico no había salsa. So por eso me lo llevé. And as far as this, thank you, Johan Alvarez. Johan, saludos, muchas gracias por la playera. Este, Johan, obviously, um, Canelo's nephew. Uh, I just ate some fajitas. They were bomb. They were delicious. Uh, I have my my souvenirs. You guys want to watch? You guys want to see what my souvenirs are? Oh man, I'm embarrassed, but I'm gonna show you guys anyway. Well, it's not just for me. It's you can't get those in Mexico, it's like the rancheritos, the Ritos, and the flaming hats. You know. So far, that's all I've taken. But yeah, this is my room, and. Uh, I'm about to take off right now, so this is the view. It's cool, it's nice, it's chill. And look at this view. Yo, earlier in the week, it was raining cats and dogs. I was gonna, I was gonna go out and explore Guadalajara, and look at this out of my hotel. Holy shit. I can't make this up. Look at this. This is crazy. But now, it's back to being nice and chilly, which I prefer. Here we are, leaving. This is the hotel. We're into the arena right now. I think with the commission, we're gonna tag along. Catch a ride to the flight venue. Let's go, let's go. Look. We're coming in here. Estamos entrando. We're coming in, we're coming in. See you guys right here. They're selling some Canelo merch from the Canelo store. Look at these beautiful hats. The box of life, obviously. Turning into like a worldwide brand. Alright, let's go into the arena and see what this my seat is at. Fighters are gonna come out through here and they're gonna hear the roar of the people and this is they're gonna walk to the arena obviously I mean to the ring and then they're gonna throw down <laughs> throw some leather baby
cualquier campeón de las otras de las otras organizaciones como siempre he dicho no pues con todo menos con miedo y con quien sea donde sea estamos aquí para levantar la mano y queremos enfrentar a los mejores a los invictos a ver si también uno es de lo mejor a quién enfrentas ahorita a Dalapian al este Sony Edwards ahora sí al que primero que levante la mano aquí estamos Ahora sí que, como siempre, ¿no? Con todo menos conmigo y con quien sea, donde sea. Queremos esas unificaciones, queremos todos los cinturones y vamos por ello. Mándales un mensaje a ellos. Pues ahora sí que, como siempre, ¿no? Pues todos venimos a ganar, todos, todos queremos esos cinturones. Aquí estoy para levantar la mano, primeramente Dios, ojalá en un futuro y no muy lejano. Estemos unificando, ahora sí que con todo menos con miedo y que ganen mejor. Última pregunta, ¿a quién le dedicas esta pelea? Pues a mi familia, a mi esposa, a mis hijos, a todos los que vinieron, a mis papás, ahora sí que a toda mi gente que siempre está aquí, que no me, no, no, no me han fallado, no, no le he decepcionado, ahora sí que vamos con todo y muchas gracias por siempre apoyarme, siempre seguirme y esto apenas empieza. ¡A huevo! Disculpe, usted es la esposa, ¿no? De esa sí, para servirle. Este, ¿Cómo se sintió después de que ya se acabó la pelea? ¿Lo noqueó y ¿Qué, ¿Qué pensó cuando pasó eso? Pues la verdad me da mucho gusto porque pues llevamos muchos años juntos y hemos empezado juntos desde abajo y la verdad me siento muy orgullosa de él. ¿Qué mensaje le das al público que lo apoya, que, que le ama su estilo, que está ahí viendo su pelea? Pues? Que muchísimas gracias por todo su apoyo. La verdad, este, esto no hubiera sido posible sin ellos. Any tremendous card to kick off the oh, fight amazing. series. Yeah, it was amazing. Great. What a night. Just incredible. Uh, thank you to everyone and Eddie and Saul and the people of Guadalajara. What an incredible night. Just the first of many. What did you, you make of Tessa Martinez's Oh, he's, he's unbelievable. So exciting. One of the most pound for pound, one of the pound for pound most exciting fighters out there. You know, he needs to unify at flyweight and then move up. You know, you've got Estrada, Chocolatito, Quad. Uh, Quadras, Rungasai, so many great fights for him. Ioka, uh, huge, huge future ahead. He said he wants, he wants anyone who raises their hand first and he's yeah. going to fight anybody. Yeah. He's just got to stay focused and the sky's the limit. What did you tell him after the fight? Just that, stay focused. Keep working hard, 
and everything will fall in place for you. When's the next fight series in Mexico? August the 20th, we'll announce uh, next week. All right, Constantino Garcia here for Little Giant Boxing, signing off here in Guadalajara, in Guadalajara Jalisco, Mexico. Miren nada más, que hermoso está este, este país, Mexico, pero más que nada Guadalajara. And that concludes the first fight series in Mexico in collaboration with Matchroom The Zone, Clase Talento, Canelo Promotions, of Matchroom bringing fights here in Mexico, uh, showcasing new talent in Mexico, up and comers. You know, you had Cesar Ray Martinez, he put on a show. The whole card was stacked top to bottom, and honestly, it delivered. There was like blood and guts, there was fucking knockdowns, there was knockouts. Uh, it, it was it was tremendous. So Ray Martinez delivered against Joel Cordova. It was like a five round fight, but it was just all action. Top, that was like, from the first round to the to it ended, I was like on the edge of my seat. I was getting up, people were like, sit your ass down from the back, you know? It was, it was a really, really good card. Great work from Eddie Hearn, from Eddie, from the matchmakers, from everyone top to bottom. It was great. Like I had a blast here in Mexico and I'm for sure gonna come back. The next card for the fight series will be on August. Um, Eddie Hearn already confirmed it. And uh, I can't wait. Hopefully, if, hopefully I'll be able to come because uh, I, I love it here and it's, and uh, the fights are fucking badass fuck. Ah, tira peleadores. Ah, no. Ah, no, pues sí, güey. Fue un par, entonces. Sí, va para allá. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, aquí estoy con mi jefe, güey. Te mando saludos también el Eddie. Muchas gracias. Sí, de hecho, Aquí estamos en Santa Teresita, el mejor lugar para venir a comer comida casera. Manzanas, uvas, piña, no me Esa humilde casita fue donde comenzó la carrera de Saúl en el aspecto de las concentraciones, ahí en ese departamento humilde. Ahí se concentraba hasta por dos meses, cuando tenía como unos 14, 15 años, como hasta los 16, en ese pequeño cuartito de ahí. ¿Qué te acuerdas de, de ahí? De lo... No, pues todo lo, lo bonito cuando empezamos y ahorita, pues de pura casualidad, pasamos por aquí. Mira, me acordé que me agarró el alto. No boxing, no life. Let's go.